second end. Come on, let's have a look inside. Rob, if you can keep up with us and uh, just have a look at this beautiful leather trim. You want a combination of excitement and aviation on this show, right? Okay, so we've got the Sport Cruiser here. We've got these wonderful ladies who are representing Czech Sport Aircraft as well. But I suppose we had better talk about the aviation, haven't we? So, what's... <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> It's like with the grace of a ballerina. All you vote-hungry, knee-jerk-reacting politicians in America who say biz jets are completely pointless, have a look at this beauty. The Beechcraft Premier One, and I want to find out a bit more about this air. Mooney is synonymous with speed. Susan, you're from Mooney. Why is it speed you go for? So this is... It's simply electrically powered off electric motors, is it? It's yes. not told you this weekend. And, and good luck to the guys with all these fancy questions. to start off with this aircraft, the Extra 500. It is a spectacular looking piece of machinery, isn't it? Extra, I'm sure you know the name, because they've got the most amazing aerobatic aircraft. In fact, Rob, if you have a quick peep over there, you can see the beautiful red one over there. But this is a little bit different, isn't it? Walter, you're from Extra. Yes. Is it a business jet? Is it? What, what is it? Well, it's meant to uh, carry people around uh, on a uh, reasonably long distance for the uh, size of airplane. We can go uh, 1,600 nautical miles, so cover quite a distance. Yeah. And uh, it's a family airplane or it's a business airplane for the self-flying businessman. Should we have a look inside this? Sure. If Rob can keep up with us, because this is absolutely beautiful inside. I'll let you open the... Uh, the catch because this is a nice how old is this aircraft actually Walter it looks very new straight yeah. out of the showroom yeah it's um, well this one actually is our test bed and has flown like uh, 700 hours now right. so uh, it does have some experience uh, took me to the United States a couple of times well, but you can see uh, as always with this kind of thing beautiful leather uh, but it's a lot smaller than your standard biz jet but I'll have a let's uh, let's climb through here actually Rob right so we're in the cockpit now Walter um, it kind of is like a biz jet, isn't it? Although this is a test aircraft. So what, tell us a bit about the layout and the comfort and that kind of thing. Well, you know, this is um, meant to carry six people around. And um, this is the very, very first one. And this is the airplane we have gained some experience in. We are now in production. We are just, uh, well, 80% ready for the, uh, with the first production airplane. It will be delivered uh, in f uh, fall this year. This is my favorite aircraft. And unfortunately, not because of these guys. It is the Sport Cruiser. I want to introduce now Martin, who's standing just outside of the shop, giggling away. Martin, it's a real pleasure to see you. Hey, Look, sorry. I've talked about this aircraft on the show before. We've reviewed it. I love it. Yeah, now, you've too. just taken on this aircraft as well. You're really putting in a strong marketing drive now, aren't you? Right. Why do you love this aircraft so much that you bought the company? Well, um, <laughs> I fly a bit special. I'm, uh, pretty it's much a very different aircraft. It is, it is, but uh, for touring, and uh, cruise speed, I choose uh, Sport Cruiser as my favorite aircraft. We are manufacturing uh, and maintaining GA standards for our production, so uh, there is a really big difference between us and other foam and plastic uh, ultralights. So really, we are maintaining the highest uh, standard in the industry. I just want to have a look at some of these controls very quickly with Arta. Now look, a lot of people watching this show are going to be familiar with light aircraft and perhaps with helicopters as well. So looking at these controls, is there anything particularly different that people need to get used to in an autogyro? The instruments are standard like you can, you can see in every other uh, light aircraft and helicopter as well. Just standard instruments using for flight. And how hard is it to learn to fly an autogyro compared to like a light, light sport aircraft or a helicopter? It's so easy like an aircraft much easier than a helicopter. For a helicopter you, you need really a lot of hours to, to learn to fly. It's so easy like every other aircraft. I think as a, as a younger pilot, or, or let's say relatively fewer hours yeah. rather than the age, it's nice to have the ability to see where you are and back up what you're learning. Um, not necessarily straight out the bat, you know, you've got to learn your, your normal navigation, how to use the VOR in your aircraft, yeah. you know, that's all part of yeah. flying. Yeah. But it's just nice to have the backup behind you. Now, while the Detroit 3 might currently be working their way around America on eco-powered, wind-powered uh, bicycles, this is the kind of machinery where serious business gets done. So, let's have a talk here to a man who knows all about this aircraft, beautiful aircraft, Byron. Yes. It's the Premier One. You've obviously got a lot of jets around. What is it about this one, first of all? Mm. Well, this is the biggest, fastest airplane uh, light jet in the world today. I said 
that this is the kind of thing that serious business gets done in. We all know there's a lot of debate about this at the moment. Mm. Why should you use a biz jet like this? Yeah, great question. Well, uh, number one, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an incredibly convenient way of getting around. Uh, you have great privacy when you travel in the aircraft. And, and of course, you have great comfort. The the whether you're a business person, uh, you can be on board the airplane, getting work done the whole time that you're flying. And if you're a family man, then of course you can uh, enjoy your family. They can roam around the airplane and not bother anybody uh, while you're flying. Also, <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Final question: What about range? Yeah, range of the airplane uh, uh, is about uh, 1,300 nautical miles. Uh, we're coming out with a new derivative of this airplane called the Premier 2, which will have uh, 1,500 nautical miles of range and some more powerful engines. So as fast as this airplane climbs, which it really is a, quite a, a little rocket, as we say, uh, the new airplane will climb even faster. Why is it speed you go for? It's always been a characteristic of the Mooney since its invention in 1946 by Al Mooney. Uh, and it continues, we continue to build on his infamous design and just make it faster and faster. But there are some key elements that, that you know, create that uh, speed for Mooney. And it's the tail, yeah. uh, the all trimming tail with no trim tabs. And it's the laminar flow wing. And, and it's some, some elements that, uh, that just you just can't beat. Follow you in there, and if Rob can somehow squeeze around here to actually have a look inside. But I must admit, for many people who've been training in, let's face it, a grotty old 172, which has been used by the training school for many, many years, this would be lovely, wouldn't it? You've got full glass, pa uh, glass panel cockpit as well. It Just is. Tell us a bit about it. Yes, it's uh, G1000 with uh, the Garmin Autopilot GFC 700 standard. Um, we, we have synthetic vision now, um, we've got the XM weather and radar in the U.S. Um, we can overlay so many of the things that are useful here in Europe, uh, like storm scope, skywatch, ADF. Looking down here, there's something missing, isn't there? The undercarriage. The reason being is because it's up here. It's actually a light aircraft with a retractable undercarriage. But why would you do this on such a small aircraft? Tornado, you're responsible for this aircraft. Why retractable gear? We are faster. We have longer range. We have minimum consumption. We have perfect aerodynamic. Can you see Electric that? gear. Right. So that's going down. Can you see that underneath? So this is, it's simply electrically powered off electric motors, is it? It's yes. not hydraulic? Nah, only electric. Light, easy. Now, give us an idea, can you, of the sort of cost of this kind of aircraft compared to other light aircraft out there? I mean, is it expensive because you have got the, the undercarriage as well? If I'm flying, I must buy 70% from car. If I go with the car, it's too, too, uh, it's, it's very expensive for me. If I fly, I must pay only 70% of, of price from car. So it's cheaper overall. What yeah, about, course. what about... 30% I, I spent. What about when you buy the aircraft the first time? What is the price point like uh, compared to other light aircraft? Uh, it's, it's, you mean price? Yes. Uh, beginning is uh, 80,000 80, Europe and uh, clients say me i want a letter i want this one color i want this equipment and that's it's more and more uh, 100000 euro is perfect equipment uh, aircraft with with the uh, autopilot and all big screens and, and perfect uh, perfect uh, uh, letter in in cockpit